look at here folks see this this by right is pretty much is ready to harvest right I mean there's still some cells on the bottom that's not capped up but this is for the most part capped over and so if I want to I can go up here with my knife right now in a bucket and cut this off and crush it and strain it this is the same way too here sorry about shaking it but you can kind of see what I'm seeing here look at that nice white cappings still some that needs to be capped down below here but for the most part it's pretty ripe and uh, the other hive back there, the other big top bar, has got a lot of honey too. And uh, right here, you can see how the bees got attached right there. That's a good thing because that thing weighs about 10, 12 pounds or more. And uh, one of those areas of brace come like right, like right here, that'd fall down into a big mess and have a problem like small hive beetles. So it's a good thing they got that under like that. But we'll zoom in so you can see the cappings. Spot. Look at that. I don't know what else isn't pretty, but that's very pretty. Unfortunately, I guess some angry guard bees flying around me right now. So I'm about to back away and let put this back together because they're getting kind of mean. I smoked them, but this colony has a little bit of aggressive issues to it. Depending on the weather, though, it's kind of hot out, so. But, Look at that. And right here, just look at that. I look forward to harvesting this honey. The only difference is with these hives here, you don't put, you don't decap it and spin it through an extractor instead of these. You just cut it off, bar, crush it and strain it. And of course the bees will have to rebuild that comb. But right now the yellow sweet clover is blooming pretty strong right now. So what this is, this is locust and yellow sweet clover that they're bringing in and capping. So I got a, several angry bees right now in my face. So I'm gonna back away and turn off. 